How's it going guys? In this episode we're down to J-Max Off-Road Solutions. We're doing a 100,000k checkup on the ute. We're going to go through the shocks, a bit of everything and yeah, see what's damaged on the car after 100,000 k's of abuse because it has copped it over the last three and a half years. So the boys are going to take it into the shop and get stuck right into it. The boys have the rig on the hoist at the moment. Uh, they're going through like extensive bolt check first up. We've got uh, lower control arm bushings in the rear. They're actually gone. And then we're gonna pull all the shocks out and get the shocks all on the bench and service them, check them, and see how much damage has been done. This is like the workshop they got going on here. It's a pretty big facility they've got here. They've got multiple hoists, they've got heaps of workshops in there. They've got all the distrib distribution, all the manufacturing, like you'll see, everything that JMAX is doing is Australian manufactured. It's pretty unreal. Like, have a look at some of these new housing. So these are obviously leaf housing, so I have coil housings over there somewhere. Pretty bloody cool to see an Australian company like this um, still manufacturing and building and designing stuff in Australia. I'll get Jai to walk us through some of these kits later, but basically you can know if you buy something from J-Max Off-Road Solutions, it's going to be Australia made, it's going to be Australian design, manufactured, and customer service around here is second to none. It's bloody awesome. Look at it. So the thing most people know me for is um, my big 79, the J-Max Off-Road Solutions kit in it. Part of that kit was when I sat there about three and a half, four years ago, I actually blew my Ranger up on Fraser Island. That next week I went in and ordered a brand new 79 series dual cap. When it came to it, I looked at what suspension am I gonna run was the biggest key component at the time. And it came down to purely who was gonna look after me the best. And I walked in, I had my ridiculous amount of money at the time. I think it was 24 grand I paid for the kit. I walked into all the other brands, um, got really horrible customer service. Walked into J-Max and I just felt like I was at home. Um, the way they treated me, they took me for test drives in their cars, everything. Took me through the workshop and it was really good to be respected by a company when I was a nobody at the time. And to come full circle and I'm here now, down at the HQ three and a half years later and I can call these people mates and yeah, crazy how things change over three and a half years and yeah, keen to see where it goes. It's gonna be a cool little day down here, yeah, going through the ute, doing a little checkup and see how bad it is. So let's see where they're up to. They've had it had it up on the hoist for a little bit and yeah, we'll get stuck into it. Yep. We got a big six by six in here. Yeah, same thing again. If you had the Brizzy show, you would have seen their six by six um, on display. This thing, look, massive big methods on them. Big old 37. So they got some cool things happening with this thing. They've also got a new rack design for the Rhino platform. All your lights in the top, light bar across the front. Pretty bloody cool. It's, um, this thing's gonna be massive when it's done. Let us know in the comments, do we come back down when the 6x6 six done and do a review on this, like a little rig rundown with J-Max. I think it'd be pretty cool. All the nice work they got going in these things. Such a flash interior. There's plenty to be seen on these things, that's for sure. Uh, the boys have done a bowl check on the ute. We've got the new bash plate that's gonna go on, but before that, we're actually gonna replace the rear tail shaft. It's had a pretty hard, like sort of last six to 12 months. The boys are gonna go through the shocks over here very shortly, go through a full rebuild of the shocks, the valving. We'll take you through a bit of how they actually design them, manufacture them. And then Jai's got some new lower arms for us. I'm so. Struggling. <laughs> yeah. The stick is one, give it the visual aspect, but two, also just give it a bit of protection on the body. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Just get the new boot and everything on it, clean it right up, eh? Yeah, we'll get a spark on again, mate. Yeah, you can see on this one, same thing, it's got like that corrosion yeah. inside the boot. Well, I haven't exactly looked after them very well. Like, hey, I just, just put them in there and abuse the crap out of them. <laughs> Yeah, what are we doing with the shocks that's come out and changing and going in? Oh uh, yeah, so we'll just strip them down, um, put some lighter valving in them, uh, some fresh oil, change the seals and yep. get them going again. And like before, mine was set pretty much standard. Yeah. We've got a few things we changed now, so we're going to sort of soft the mine up a bit, being a lighter ute. Yeah. Since you change the front end, change the bar and all that sort of stuff, we can yep. um, change the even lighter valving into different different setup. Different setup, yep. yeah. That sort of stuff we keep under wraps for good reason. Yeah. And so we're just doing like a bit of a rebuild service on these yeah, yeah, yeah. at the moment. And yeah. like what is a regular service interval for? Between 60 and 80,000 we start doing those in the shock fade. Definitely not ideal being able to do that. Uh, as you can see, all, all the arms pretty much buggered, bushings are flogged out. That's not a bad effort for 112,000 Ks on the car. The kit went in from brand new, and this is the only failure that I've had on this kit, so pretty good. I can put my name on a kit that's 110,000 Ks old and taking all the abuse. So. Yeah, this is all the corrosion down the bottom. So new shafts going in, get them all stick it up, cleaned up, ready to go. Beauty. Might be the way. Just getting the first of the shocks back in now. All stickered, brand new looking clean again. And then new mounting wear. All the new lower arms. Yeah, good to go. And we just got the fronts getting rebuilt now. We go back over and see the boys and the boys will get us sorted on the front shocks. Never seen a brand new one here for ages, so. Yeah. Fresh arms, fresh stickers on the shocks. It's just as economical putting your arms in them because bushes are 45 bucks a hit. Yeah, like Joe. Press them out, press them in. See these on? Yeah. Yeah, the old ones are gone. Oh, yeah. They, they, they weren't better. even in there. Yeah. have seen better days. So yeah, what the boys were just telling me is when they run this hose, they loop it up so it doesn't fail on the upper control arms under articulation and then yeah just a nice and neat little spot here and obviously we don't have to worry about the exhaust getting close to the lines anymore because we've changed the exhaust to run up through to the stacks and yeah nice easy simple setup again fresh arms fresh shocks get them mounted in all right so if you're down at brizzy show you would have seen jmax have just released a um, new bash guard for the transfer case Pretty common thing, it's your belly clearance where it's just going to get hit, so time to get a fresh one of these on the car. Just another little bit of protection that's good, so if you order a new kit on the car, you can actually option them in as an extra for your kit. Same as all your shocks, all that sort of stuff. Start hooking into the car, the boys are going through a full bolt check and that, doing little basic bits and pieces, so yeah, you jump under, have a look. Looks pretty naked under here, it's, um, it does need a clean, get that on the big jobs. So 
So got the new bash plate here. Uh, reason for changing over to this one from JMAX is it's a JMAX one. It's obviously going to be good quality and that's straight out of the box. But it's also a one piece design, so it means it's not going to bend or crack or fail or anything. It's got drain, heaps of drain holes in it. So all the stuff that sits up in your chassis that you can't wash, like dirt, grease, mud, whatever it may be, rocks, salt, all that's going to be able to drain out, especially when you're washing the car. And just look at it, it's a nice one piece design. So you actually have to take your tail shaft off remove that, bolt it up, full one piece design so it's not going to go anywhere, throw your tail shaft back in and yeah you're good to go. So, how bloody good is that? Uh, this right is, it's actually the Ranger that J-Max have been building and designing. Yeah, if you've got a Ranger and you're in the market for J-Max suspension, 3 inch 35 uh, pre-rego kits all available, coming through. Oh, all shock, so yeah Ranger guys, next gen Rangers. You want a JMAX kit, run some alphas, get amongst it. How good's it look? And I wasn't in the film. <laughs> Yeah, so we just pulled this shock apart and what sort of happened to us as we've uh, So out? it had a nick in the O-ring, so on this side of the piston, you've got a floating piston in the res there. Yep. On this side there's gas, on this side there's oil, the gas would have transferred through to the oil, yep. pressurised the oil and yeah, made a mess when we pulled it apart. Yeah, made a <laughs> little bit of an explosion, but yeah. that's what I was saying earlier is that the last few months I've been getting like a really hard vibration on small impacts and that would have been exactly that reason why, eh? like, yeah, yeah. just 100%. the shock not working to its full potential and essentially bypassing its, its reservoir like, yep. yeah. yeah, miss us but good thing we service them I suppose, that's why you got yeah. interviews. <laughs> that's it. Just going to show the this, this is the one we've yeah, rebuilt, replaced, so nice and fresh. This one, or just bug it out like that. Just seen better days, so that's why it's worthwhile basically servicing your shocks, cleaning them up, and doing it probably more regularly than I do. <laughs> so, you got a floating piston inside there, yep. Um, you got gas on this side, oil on that side. The gas is bypassed over into the oil, mm. which is yeah, pressurised it. So what we're doing at the moment, we're just um, bleeding it out. Bleeding it out, just so we can take the shaft out and change yep. all the seals and O-rings and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. And that there's the issue I'm having to why it sort of let yeah. those yep. shocks fail in the last couple of months. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Get that real body feeling. Yep. Yeah, it was like, it was that real floaty feeling and then it was just like jolty on the small, yeah, yeah. like corrugation bumps in the road, yeah, like yeah. potholes and stuff. That's it. That'd be, yeah. There you go. Pays to know your shocks, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so what you would have just seen is like the, um, the shock basically like exploding when we've undone it. That's because of the rings, the seals, they've blown out in the last month or two. That's why we've actually booked in this service to do it. Um, but yeah, it's making the shock sort of jolty and bouncy and hard compression. And it's sort of like letting the shock go, I don't know, in buoyant. So it's the oil and the gas is mixed together and it's just created that shock to just go neutral in a way and yeah, cause that to just simple out on itself. So get them fixed up, all new wear rings, O-rings, all that sort of stuff in them and yeah, we'll be good to go and it'll be like a brand new shock now and get all the bodies cleaned up, all the shafts replaced. And it's just gonna be a brand new system. Like, look at all that, so yeah. Seen better days.
She's all coming off the hoist now. The boys have finished their work. Bloody spectacular form all day where they've been hustling. There we got it. The new ones. George, you're here. What are you going to let me take this for a run, mate? <laughs> yeah, well, you got to let me know what it is. Take the big rig for a drive. <laughs> Look at that. Automatic side steps. Oh, you know, helps the kids getting in and out of the car. <laughs> well, when he's, what, a year old? <laughs> yep. Oh. See, I'd love electric side steps. I'd just break them oh. way too quick. For me, having them on the fly, like around town, you'll notice that it's good. Um, but when the shock actually starts, working and getting hot and the oil needs to dissipate that and the heat needs to dissipate sorry that's yep. when they really kick in for us put the van on the back crank the rear up and car doors completely you know it's like the multi-map and these things it's like yeah you know, i won't use it so how do you change the multi-map in the cruise control so what up yeah go up shows you what map it's in yeah so currently it's in map form you hold it up hold it up change it yeah right so you got five maps in it all, each, all on your cruise control yeah and then the good thing is so if you're in cruise control and you're cruising down the highway it locks you out so you can't change the map yeah and then just to go back down you just hold it and it'll jump through the map so it's got if you hold it down all right put it back through three two and then there's an immobilizer in it as well there you go it's pretty damn cool that's sick i think it's up there oh yeah there it is that's what i don't forget because yeah it <laughs> yeah oh i bet i feel weird driving other people's cars? Nah, don't stress. Yeah. You're, not, you're just driving the car, oh, you're not flogging it, but it still feels it's like... It's pulling so yeah. well. Like mine, I'm to get it moving, like I'm pretty up into it, but yeah. I'd have half the horsepower of this. Well, that's the thing, like, so the boys at JA are saying that most cars in this sort of package are like 80 horse to 100 horse more than what my car makes. Yeah. But the drivability in terms of the response on the foot is completely different. Yeah. Like you said, you sort of, with, with the other side stuff, you've got to get into it. Like it's not, like don't get me wrong, it's not going to be 10 seconds down the quarter mile. Oh yeah. But you can feel that's, that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but you know but what? That was at like 1,500, 2,000 RPM yeah. and it just yeah. rocket shit. Crazy, eh? Wow, you're going to start making me spend some money. <laughs> so what's it making now, about 300? Yeah, just under, yeah. On yeah. 35s of the wheels. Yeah, just shy of 300. So, yeah, because obviously this has got the extension in it, so the stretch and the chassis in the Yeah. Wheel. I'll take you for a you, you don't really notice it. No. no. Right. I, I mean, mean generally, I mean, you probably notice parking and whatnot, but. Yeah, like, it does affect it a little bit, but everybody goes, oh, what your 300 mil extension do? Does this, you know, sacrifice of your turning circle? And I'm like, well, mate, if you wanted to buy a car that could turn, you should have bought a Prius. Yeah, 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 <laughs> smart car. <laughs> yeah, you know, what's your fuel economy like? I don't know, I bought a V8. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I still need. No to reverse camera? Oh, we go by Braille. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Just wait right. till you hear the thunk and then it's going really to right. Can't see. That's why I run the table on the back because then I know how close I am. Yeah, yes, sir, yeah. yeah, about there. <laughs> so you can drive this a lot harder than I will. <laughs> but oh, sure yeah. we go down through the roundabout. But even like. It's just pulling so easy. That's like, more still pulling. Effortlessly. Yeah. And I'm not ringing the titties. No, you're what? 25, 2,000 RPM. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you come through, like, say you're doing a roundabout. And I can come through this roundabout and drive it. <laughs> so stable. And it just holds. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing, like, yeah, it's coil rear end and it's eye link and whatever, but. Again, nine, like eight percent of the guy there that we sell them to a tour, so they're not van on the back, four, four and a half. Yeah, ton. yeah. Whilst it still can perform, I mean, yeah, you showed us it can. And we always knew it can. It's based on an eighty series, but yeah, for us, it's our main primary focus is not flex, but touring comfort, low carry, yeah. that sort of side of it. Yeah. But yeah, from a drive really sense, you're not ringing the boot. No. It just drives. Yeah. That's all, I think that's the biggest thing that I like about it. 
It's just, it's just got that power where it needs it down low. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think mine's got a little bit of that, but it's just missing that extra kick to yeah. just step up. Like I reckon, especially even running traps, I reckon I lose 25% straight away. Yeah, yeah. Like easily. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Seeing those traps, they look coming too. Oh, they are. <laughs> they are. Time for some new tyres. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you're using it for what it's built for. Right? Yeah. But you also let people, if they come in here oh, yeah. and want to test drive, yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. let them test drive. Yeah, they take my car. We've got Brock's car here. Yeah. Um, we've got 300 that we normally have. So yeah, there's more than like, And that's what we say yeah. to everybody. Just come in and drive it. Because at the end of the day, yeah. like, it's not for everybody. Yeah. Like, but what's man, like what's this set at now? About four and a bit ton? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And most of the guys around the country too, like most of the facilities that fit these kits all got cars. Yeah. So, you know, we always say to them, go drive it, then you make a decision based off yeah. at the end of the day, it's your car, it's not my car. I can tell you till I'm blue in the face. Exactly. This yeah. is amazing, it's gonna <laughs> do all this, blah blah blah. But at the end of the day, the customer's gonna go, okay, that's all. Yeah. I mean. so. Yeah. Am I gonna be happy once I spend my money and have this car there, okay. there's and one thing to spend money on looks yeah. it's another to have it and be happy and yeah, drive correct. it for the next three yeah, years that, and, practic that practical side the reliability all that yeah. sort of comes into consideration so yeah but yeah that's just the little things mm. right yeah guys thanks for watching this episode of froth bros media guys j max off road solutions go check them out on the socials done an awesome job as always on the ute getting the shocks cleaned up new bash plate, new lower control arms, and a full check over on the whole suspension system. Can't recommend them enough if you're in the market for like GVM upgrades, suspension kits, anything like that. Check out the team at J-Max Off-Road Solutions. So yeah, cheers guys. Make sure you go over, cop some merch, check out the website, get some bull bars, stuff like that for your rig. And yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. Shake the bike.